Hey guys, Matthew here. In this video I'm going to tell you how to uh, export uh, things into Unreal Tournament Engine um, in a bit more of an advanced way. So in the first video we talked about um, the fact that Y is up in Unreal Tournament Engine, so we really want to position our geometry so that it's facing kind of that direction. But now that we know a little bit more about meshes, there are a few things we can do to make our life a bit easier. So what we do want to do for every single piece of geometry in, in a file. So um, as you can see, I've um, put my kind of different objects on appropriate layers. So that's the first thing you want to do is to put, you know, your fence on a layer called fence, your roof on a layer called roof, so on and so forth. So every kind of component is on its own layer. And for this, I'm just going to look at the roof in detail. So I'm going to turn off everything else. And you want to um, export these things in a very particular way. So the first thing we might want to do is we might want to mesh the, the roof. So we can mesh it and we can choose the number of polygons. When things are flat, you actually can move all the way to the end and go OK. So this roof has been turned into a mesh. So as you can see, um, if I delete the polygons, I'll be left with just the mesh components and everything looks fairly clean. So once I've got that, um, and I should also mesh these other things. So I'm just going to go cell polysurf and uh, mesh them as well, and then delete them. I've got this object, and you'll see I've got a whole bunch of different meshes. Now, the chances are they're not going to move within your file, and because of the way meshes work, I can actually just join things that don't touch. So voila, now instead of having one mesh, sorry, instead of having five meshes, I've only got one mesh. And now I can export that as roof.fbx, um, OK, and go through. So you want to do that for every single one of these layers to give you the most amount of control and the most um, uh, ability to problem solve um, further down the line. So um, that's pretty much it. So put all your different things on different layers, um, mesh them join them, then export them. And that's all you have to do, um, which is a little bit time consuming the first time, but assuming you don't delete your geometry like I did, you can do whatever change you need to do in Rhino, remesh it, rejoin it, and export it into um, uh, Unreal. So uh, that's it for this video, and um, I'll see you in the next video. This project was supported by a UTS widening participation strategy, first year experience grant, funded through the Australian Government Higher Education Participation and Partnership Program. The videos were produced by Matthew Austin and Adrian Taylor.